Welcome to day 11. Ladies, today we're working on our abs and strengthening our back. With this one, you don't need to warm uh, up as much as you would normally do before the workout, but still it's, get, it's best to start moving, get that blood flowing and get ready for this workout. So the first exercise we're starting with is go onto your floor, wrist underneath our shoulders as always, and then knees underneath our hips at a hip width. From here, we're gonna work on one side only. So the way we do it is you bring one leg behind you and you bring the opposite side arm. The thing here is the most important part is not to arch your back, but bring that pelvic floor tilted and keep it there for the whole duration. Bring that leg as high as you can, arm goes high and then Try to reach with the opposite side elbow to that knee. And again, bring that leg high and bring it back to the middle. Remember always to tilt the pelvic floor. So before each rep, before you start each exercise, you need to remember to tilt it and bring that spine to a neutral position. It's very, very common to have a back ache with abs workouts because of that unnatural and especially if you have lower doses already so this arch in your back that's going to be exaggerated so you need to keep tilting it and the arm is strong the leg is strong so arm goes nice and high the arm and leg they both go high without tilting twisting you're keeping the body parallel to the ground and then engage your core bring that knee to the elbow and again high bringing it back high and remember that breathing exhale and inhale and then again keep breathing well done now we're moving to the work on our lower abs the way we do it go back onto the floor and what you do here you stay on your elbows and one leg is constantly on the floor on toes. Once again, tilt the pelvic floor and keep bringing one leg towards you. Your core should be engaged constantly. So you should feel that engagement in your abs. As close to your chest as you can. In, out. Core is engaged, remember about it and the other foot is on its toes. So the further you're bringing your feet away, the harder it becomes. The closer you bring it, the easier it becomes because the range of movement is smaller. So to make it harder, bring your feet away from you. To make it easier, bring your feet closer. If this is still too hard, what you do is you place firmly both feet on the ground and then you bring one foot and place it back on the ground again. Now, the opposite side of course. On the toes, pelvic floor is tilted, arms are engaged, back is straight, and back on the floor. You should feel your leg tensed up. You should feel your abs working, and we're working here on our lower abs. So the first portion we've done, we worked on our obliques, we worked on the upper abs, and now what we do here, we're targeting the lower portion, to balance this out. Keep breathing. Breathing is the key as always. Neck is relaxed. Remember about that neck. It is following the spine and it's not doing any work. It is relaxed. For the last exercise, you will need anything. I'm using my husband's t-shirt. You can use a towel, your t-shirt, anything. Literally, you lay down on the floor, legs are straight, and tilt the pelvic floor. So once again, closing that gap, and from here, we're gonna go up just a fraction. So your shoulder blades are literally a fraction coming off the floor, going down, but keep that gap closed. Lower yourself down under control, and again, lower yourself down under control. To make things easier, Bend your legs, you can do it this way, this way will be easier to keep that gap closed because you're bending your legs 
which means that you're closing that gap, you're bringing that spine to neutral. But to progress, straighten your legs, because here you will need to willfully engage your core and close that gap. Now we're moving to the second round. Have a sip of water if you need to. And what we're doing now is we're going back to the first exercise, wrist under your shoulders, our knees underneath our hips, pelvic floor is tilted, and go. If during the exercise you notice that your arm is not placed correctly, fix it. When you start moving, you will see that this balance is challenged. That means you need to adjust yourself. Well done. So bring that elbow to that knee and then straighten that leg. And remember about that pelvic floor. The pelvic floor is tilted and you're not swinging. It's very, 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 very important to keep yourself uh, as steady as you can that way. You utilize the correct muscles and you load them. Get ready and, and let's go. And another rep. And again up and lower. Up. So when you're bringing that leg up, you're not just swinging it, but you're bringing it upwards under control by utilizing your glute muscle. And you should feel your glute here going really hard, contracting. If you don't feel it, that means that you're not bringing your leg as high as you can to load the muscle correctly. And you need to really drive that leg upwards and make your glutes work, make your abs work, make your legs work. And now, what we're doing now, going on the ground and let's start with one leg keep doing it if this is too easy what you can do from here you can start alternating and driving one foot the other one foot the other this is if the other variation is too easy but what that means that here you would go like this for both rounds because we're working on one side and then we'll switch to the other side. So if you alternating, then both rounds you will do the work alternating legs. Well done. So of course now we're gonna do this on the other side. Let me switch. So as before. The closer you get your feet, the easier it becomes. The further away your feet are, the harder it becomes. And if it's too hard, place your feet firmly on the ground. Pelvic floor is tilted. And inhale. And then exhale. Drive that leg close. You should feel your leg being tensed up. You should feel your abs being tensed up. And you should feel your neck relaxed. So don't try to do this, don't drop it. Really, your neck is always just following the spine. We don't need any pressure there, we don't need any tension. All we're doing here is we're working on our abs and our legs are being utilized. Well done. And now we're going to our towel crunches. So what you do here, you get that towel, tissue, whatever, t-shirt, whatever you have, even if it's a tissue. And then your legs are straight, pelvic floor is tilted. And keep that gap closed. What you do here, you really need to control yourself on the way up and on the way down. The moment you catch the momentum, your back starts to arch. And this is where you lose the benefits of the workout because you letting your muscles uh, to relax and here we're keeping them engaged even if you are in a lower position you keep your abs engaged to keep that gap closed when you're coming up 
The movement is starting from your core, not from your neck. You're not putting yourself upwards, but you're driving your neck up. You really engage your core and you curl in your core. This is how you coming up. That's once again, very, very, very important with those abs workouts, the neck and the back, the things which suffer the most. Now, we go into that table top. And ladies go, we're on round number three. So one arm goes up and leg goes up. Pelvic floor is tilted. And again, before you shrug, once again here, the neck, don't, don't let it to drop. Neck is following the spine. And again, well done. Up and down. Up and down. Under control. We're not doing this. There is no point in doing this. Under control and up under control without arching that back. Do your best to keep that back in a neutral, not swinging. Neck is relaxed, strong leg and strong arm. And of course we're gonna go to the other side. Get a sip of water if you need to. And we're gonna move to the opposite side. Pelvic floor, tilt it. And let's go up, down, up, well done. To make it easy, if that is too hard for you, place both hands on the floor, leg goes up and then towards that knee. Goes up and towards that, towards that elbow, the opposite side elbow, up and then towards the elbow. And again, up and towards the elbow. Both hands on the ground will give you stability and it will be easier to perform the exercise. But if you can do it as I show you, because we need to progress and move on to a harder exercises to keep progressing, because we're already on week number two and we have two more weeks afterwards. Okay, so staying on one side. One. Well done. Place it back. Keeping that back in a neutral. Not doing this. Nice and straight back. Pelvic floor is tilted. Touch and back. Once again under control. Leg is tensed. Arms are tensed. And if you can, you can do this. You will feel your lower abs going on fire pretty fast with this one. But make sure that if you do that for one round, so let's say one round, you've done this. And then the second round, do a stepping one because it's quite easy to forget. And then you will end up doing one side only. So when you're doing the speed routines, when you're doing uh, work on one side, don't forget to train the other side, always. We need that balance. And lower, up, and lower. If you don't feel engagement in your abs, check your form again. Well, you need to make sure that you're supporting yourself on your elbows, back is straight, pelvic floor is tilted and abs are engaged and then start bringing that leg up. You should feel your arms working. If that is too easy, as I said, keep doing that. Or if that is too easy, keep doing that. That will be a lot harder. So make sure that your form is at its best because we always prioritize the form. And now, let's go to our crunches. Pelvic floor is tilted, closing that gap, and let's go. Keeping that core engaged, and well done. Keep moving. So going up, not by pulling your neck upwards but by engaging in your core. If you 
don't have anything with you, you can lose whatever you have and pretend that you're holding something and then you just carry on in the same manner. You don't need any equipment, this is just helping you to get into that correct alignment. And now, guess what? The best round is coming, right? Because it is our last round. So get ready. Alignment. And let's go. And to the middle. Going up. Neck is relaxed. Neck is following the spine. Up. Up. Well done. We're not just working on our abs here. We're working on strengthening our back, our lower back. Because this exercise requires not just your core strength, it requires a spinal strength as well. And with these exercises, we are improving. And please bear in mind that if you have any pain in your lower back, then message me immediately. I'll send you the routine for strengthening of the lower back. I have them on my YouTube channel. So you can find them there or message me and I'll send it to you. And you need to start a bit slower and progressively overload yourself. And up, leg goes up, arm goes up to the middle. And up, and well done. Not swinging, controlling on the way up as well as on the way down. Well done. And, and up, down, up, keep going. We only have three seconds left. Amazing. And now our last Exercise, and we're going to our, what am I talking about? Going on our back, and I wish that was the last one. And now, bringing one foot off the floor, lifting it up, lifting the leg as close to your chest as possible. Bringing it back, lifting up, bringing it back. Breathing, relaxed neck. Keep reminding yourself about the form. It's normal to lose it, but what you need to make sure that you spot when you lose your form. When you get tired, you just, and then naturally your body finds the most comfortable position and where you need to make sure you do your spot when your body finds this, and then you fix it. And Shoulders away from your ears, straight back, tilting the pelvic floor and working hard. So now let's do the last of our leg raises. On the other side, nice and tall. Well done. In and out. In, out. As before, if that's too hard, bring your feet closer. You can place both of the feet firmly on the ground and still concentrate on engaging that core. So not just bending and doing this, but keeping your back straight and really activating your core muscles. Well done, keep going. Well done. And now we're going to our last exercise. So your legs should be pretty tired as well because you are engaging them. Now, grab that whatever you have, or if you don't have anything, just bring your arms straight, pelvic floor is tilted, and on the control down, keeping that gut closed. Well done, keep going. Straight and strong legs. So although we're working on our core, our legs are tensed as well. Back is working. 
exhale, working hard to keep us in this position. Well done. Yay! We made it. So make sure that you take your time standing up. And as before, you need to stretch. So go on that link on, on my YouTube channel or in the description of the marathon. Just find the stretch on my channel and do the stretch. And exercises like Cobra or Upward Dog, which is that, will help greatly to stretch your abdominal muscles, bring them back to the correct length and as, as a result help you with the recovery. So drink plenty, don't forget to stretch, don't forget to have an amazing day and love yourself, always love yourself and I love you all very very much. Can't believe so tomorrow is going to be day number, what are we now, day number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, already day number 12. Gosh the time, the time is flying. I love you, have an amazing day. See you tomorrow. <laughs>